you do? Uh, my name is Jacob Rosenberg. I'm a filmmaker. I'm uh, one of the partners over at a production company called Bandito Brothers down in Culver City. It's really, in my mind, is sort of about fearlessness of, of, of trusting in the fact that tools can solve problems. So again, from the fabric, remember where we come from, of what you know, format follows function, we end up, uh, you know, in 2007, 2008 with this DSLR revolution, and we end up being able to stand right next to a seal with a very small form factor camera that has a beautiful Panavised mount on it, so we have Panavision glass, um, and then that camera goes down, we got a $2,500 replacement in the truck, and, you know, we're blowing stuff up, and all of a sudden you have this real kinetic, real visceral, real close quarters texture of action in a way that hasn't been done. Because but what happened in the process of this is we came, I, I certainly came to understand how, um, like, it's a terrible analogy with climate change, but maybe it's not. I feel like we are at a cliff with data management that people do not understand where we really are if we are shooting data now instead of film. And I truly believe that, yes, people are paying attention to this, but until you're working on a film that is entirely shot digital and you actually see that data move from place to place and you realize all the factors that can contribute to the destruction of that data, it's not an analog thing anymore, it just exists on drives, that's somewhat terrifying. Um, and I just see as we get 6K and 8K and all these things, I see that that's terrifying to me because I've gone through the DI, so I know 1920 by 1080 looks great. So when someone's saying and advocating for 6K and 8K, I say that that's that's like that's cool, man. But like when you shoot 250 hours of raw footage because you can digitally, and now you're storing that, and it's a multicam shoot, that's a whole nother world. That for us, we re we just realized that's a little bit beyond the scale of what we do. Active Valor, we had multiple firewire drives of everything. We had three of each at all times. We had a rated server that all the data was on, then we had multiple drives in different places. Um, but on set, we learned right away, oh my god, we have to rename all these files. We have to create a file naming convention. We had two cameras that were calibrated the same, so the file we have duplicate file names on the same shooting day. Just they just don't slate. You don't slate What's when you slate? roll every digital take. And some, sure, the camera's marking a new take, but the person editing it and going through it doesn't recognize the difference between that take and the last take. It's between just clip 001 and clip 002 and clip and 003. MVI underscore. Right. <laughs> but but, but any, anyway, this is the, the, the long and short way of saying that we knew the limitation of what we could media manage. We did an incredible job media managing Act of Valor. Um, I